gosh. Jesus. And if they come bother you, be encouraged. Please don't touch me. Come on. Yes. Oh, my God. If they want to give you a word, please don't speak because you don't know where I am. Come on. Don't talk to me. If I don't know where I am, Jesus. I bet you don't. You don't. Oh my God. Yeah. I need a God to deliver me out of this one. Yeah. I need the Holy Ghost yeah. to rescue me out of this one. Yeah. Because I can't do it. I've been going around and around the bowl every day. And I think I'm up and then the next day I'm down. I think I got a handle on it and the next week I've lost it. Because God said, I will not allow you to get to a place yes. Yes. where you feel that your deliverance came by your own strength, by your own power. Oh, power is not coming through God. your mother, it's not coming through your father. And you ain't ever got to the place where you say, I am yours. That's not weak. Who made you think that? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's kingdom. Amen. Have you ever really got to the threshold of the kingdom? When you get to the threshold of the kingdom, you become irrelevant. Yes. You do, you do, you do. Right. You become irrelevant. It ain't about what you know. It ain't about how long you've been in the kingdom. It ain't about how long you've been saved. It ain't about your title. Because when you are faced with the devil and all hell is coming against you, he don't care nothing about your title. He don't care nothing about how long you've been in the kingdom. He will strip for Years of Come glory on. from you in four seconds. But we won't give it to God. Four seconds. Because we got too much pride Jesus. and carnality. Come on now. Won't give it to him. Can't even get you to come to the altar and lift your hands Stop in total it. surrenderance. Yes. <laughs> because you're so wrapped up in you. You can't step oh. over into the kingdom Jesus. where you become irrelevant, your attitude becomes irrelevant, yeah. your sorrows become irrelevant, everything you're going through becomes irrelevant. God says, if you would give me you for real, touch somebody and tell them, aren't you tired of church? Aren't you tired of church? Now, look at somebody else and tell them, aren't you tired? Ask them, aren't you tired of you? I'm tired of you. I've been tired. My God. My God. It's time for a change. It's time for a real change. I'm not going to hell in the church. So I challenge myself to stay on the cutting edge. Of relationship with God without anybody Jesus. having to initiate me to go in. Come on! I know when my fuel is getting low. Yeah. I know when I need to get in the presence of the Lord. I know when I need to let it all go. And tell him I can't do this, God. I can't do this. I am tired of being strong for everybody else. I am breaking down. Oh my God. Come on. Jesus. I'm breaking down when I need to break about yes. to break up. And he says, well, what are you waiting for? Come on, come on, come on. Come into my chambers. Shut the doors behind you. Yes. And come and stop with me for a little while. Oh, Jesus. If that's you, would you just jump to your feet and open your mouth and scream? Ah!